Don't want to find Hey guys, welcome to Prime Time Kitchen's How Tuesday, even though it's on How Wednesday, because we had some technical difficulties last night. And What people... happened? <laughs> Do you want me to tell? I don't care. Uh, so we had a stressful day yesterday. It's one of those things as we kind of still transition from uh, into this house. Uh, Tori, uh, <laughs> oh God, uh, uh, forgot to put her phone on Wi-Fi. I did, I did. Well, so we were running off just like the general public Wi-Fi while like hundreds of you guys are streaming the show. Mm -hmm. It's crash crazy and mm -hmm. nothing gets out. And this is a great recipe. Actually, Tori wanted us to redo this tonight. I would have been like, well, you know, it's one show, no big deal. But this is like a really cool dish and we ate it afterwards and it was friggin' delicious. So we wanted to do it over again to show you the versatility of the crepe. Well, I woke up at the like- crepe. I woke up at like two o'clock this morning going, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't turn on my Wi-Fi. Yeah, it happens. Mistakes are made. Uh, by the way, big thanks to Wasi's Meats over in Melbourne for presenting the show uh, on the radio that led to shows like this. Uh, Wasi's, that's W-A-S-S-I-S dot -S -S com. Big Green Eggs, guys. They do the best job in the state at selling them to you, and they can do one for you as well. And by the way, the Egg Fest is coming up on the 28th, mm -hmm. which means they have demo eggs, which is eggs they lend to the pros they cook for one weekend. Yeah. And then you can buy it. The best price. I literally, legally, cannot even say the price. It's just the lowest price you can get, and it's uh, while they are there. So it's, they have a couple hundred of them. It's so low, it's illegal. I, I, I know that sounds so <laughs> cheesy, but like I got Janice, uh, who's not afraid to express herself, Janice Wasi. Uh, I said it on the air, so I sent me a text like, you can't even say the price. We get in trouble every time for Big Green Egg. So uh, they are the biggest dealer in the Florida. In Florida, you can get all sizes all the times, plus all the cool stuff. Thanks, Wasis. We appreciate that. Great partners. We love them. They're awesome people. Uh, by the way, Happy New Year. Yeah. We haven't seen you guys since the turn of the year, so uh, thanks for supporting the show. Uh, we still get a lot of traffic, and a lot of you guys still tune in, and our web page and Facebook page, ptkradio.com, that has all the videos that we do, and of course our Facebook page, very in interactive. Uh, Tori's putting up stuff, I'm putting up stuff. When I say that, I mean Tori's putting up stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, a lot of cool interactive stuff, and we appreciate you guys getting in there. Uh, what else? Oh, we're going to be cooking at Fair Villa again for their big open house thing. It's February Ooh, 1st, I believe. Which it is. is like a Thursday night. Yeah. And dude, if you haven't been to one of these, it is a lot of fun. Uh, Fair Villa is legendary, of course. Right. For adults' toys. What is that? Mr. Marcus. What's it, an adult toy? You put stuff where stuff is. Okay. Next. And then stuff is powered. Everybody's making fun. They're like, oh, Groundhog's Day, take two. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. Tori's an idiot. <laughs> no, nobody, uh, nobody said that. So last year we did macaroons, which almost killed me. Macaroons. And, uh, and we did this killer bruschetta. So this year we're going to do something different. Don't know what, but uh, it'll be free while you show up. Yep. Uh, just get over at fairvilla.com. I think it's fairvillamegastore.com or whatever. And then that way you can kind of get registered. I believe you have to register to go because they have a limited space. If yep. you don't mind, as the video is moving tonight and you enjoy it, please like and share. Share. The more uh, we can get the videos out and uh, create kind of a following, the more cool stuff we can do and do different content and have celebrity guests and all kinds of cool stuff. We have a big 2018 uh, plan. A Giant. lot of the stuff that we kind of needed to get out of the way to kind of move forward with this project. Do you it, like that fat guy does on TV? Go, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we have things in plan that we're really going to start instituting. So, yep. other than that, oh, by the way, Mike Oliver Holmes. We appreciate Mike, who yep. not only got us into this house, got us out of the other one. Guys, we'll give you a tour next time. It's a bit of a yeah, mess. I'll swing. No, no, I'll swing. No, I'll swing. It's fine. Tour you shouldn't. <laughs> I know. It's, it's disgusting. It's like a frat house, for Christ's sake. It does look like a frat uh, house. Mike Oliver Holmes, thanks, Mike. Yep. We appreciate that very much. If you need anything real estate, Mike can take great care of you. Porky's is going on board as well. And our buddies from We Are Not The Banks helped us as well. Let's get to the cooking. We're making yeah, crepes my tonight, guys. Lord. Uh, crepes is a really easy, cool thing. Yep. Um, if you can remember this, uh, one, one, right? One, one, two, two. One, if you one, can two, remember two. one, one, two, two, you can make crepes. And here's why. We're going to use one cup of all-purpose flour. Okay. All right. And we're going to use one total, one total cup of liquid. Okay. Half of that's going to be milk. Half that's going to be water. The other two, these two buttes right here. Okay. Two eggs. And then after that, one little pinch of salt. 
and the other two is two tablespoons of butter. Now, with the butter, you can do a little bit more if you want. I wouldn't get crazy uh, because it, it makes it a little too heavy. You want the crepes to have binding possibilities. You want them to look good, but you also want them to be not so heavy. They should be a little... Uh, not light like a buttermilk pancake. It's not going to be like that. Buttermilk. compressed. Like buttermilk. But you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's get started. Uh, we are going to make a tarragon cream sauce tonight. And okay. let me tell you also, with these crepes, we're doing savory crepes. The cool thing about crepes is, if you're making them, make Versatile. Them. Make a bunch of them. Yeah. Put them in a, uh, uh, I like to put wax paper between them. All right. Put them in one of those gallon freeze bags. Throw them in the freezer. Take them out. Pull them out for breakfast. Honestly, guys, they warm right up. Fruit in the middle, Nutella in the middle, whatever you want to do. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. They're awesome. Whipped and you cream. Can, you can kind of wrap them up in cones and put ham and Swiss cheese and green onions. So they're really cool. We're okay. gonna, tonight, we're going to do chicken, wild mushrooms. Uh, we're going to do some garlic and onion. Chicken. Some tarragon. Yeah. All right. A little bit of cream and chicken stock. That's our filling. We're going to wrap them up and cover them with tarragon cream sauce, which is it easy as it gets to make. So that's one of the reasons we want to do this tonight. A little bit of bacon tonight too. So let's go ahead and get going with okay. our crepe sauce or our crepe batter. I want to get that made, all right? What's tarragon taste like? God damn it. Why, Tor? Because what'd you say last night? What'd you say? I, and then I disagreed with you, you and you, you, you like gave me the nasty stink eye. But listen, I can disagree you with like, you. You were like, it tastes like deer tongue. Well, for all you country boys out there who've been out in the country hunting, and you know what I'm talking about, deer tongue is this naturally <laughs> growing weed. And the reason they call it deer tongue is because it looks like a deer's tongue. There's really no other way to say it. it okay. Well, if you look at these small leaves, it's actually a lot like that. I mean, that's what it kind of looks like, but it's way bigger. Yeah. But it has that real kind of... It's just got a great earthy, like early morning it does. aroma to it. I don't know how it's, it's got a great it. taste, though. It does. Um, See, Kathy said that it tastes like anise. A no, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I mean, I don't get that. I, I get that with basil. I don't get that with. Um, I don't get that with uh, tarragon. But. Daniel Dean said, "I'll never say I'd love grapes." He's a real man. Oh, he is. is that what um, that tell Jimmy his beard's looking strong. Thank you. That's from Justin. My beard game is on. Fleek. We're gonna make that long. Maybe. Um, yeah, there is a nice space. We are going to have a big giant bar put there. Not a bar, but a uh, island. That's going to be our prep island. We're going to have like a what's it called? Like a like a hot plate or whatever that yeah, we're going to cook have on. Some magnetic inductive burner, so we'll be able Induction. to do this. Induction. We'll be able to do this out so everybody can kind of see. Uh, real quick on this crate batter. Great batter is going to be thin. Okay. So when you get it mixed up just right, yeah, we're not quite there yet, but you can see it's going to look like heavy cream. Okay. Right. It's going to have be this little pale yellow color, and it is going to be really thin. You're going to be like, "There's no way that's right. There's no way that's right because they're so used to other pancake batter not being like this." Right. I promise you, this is exactly how it's supposed to be. Okay. Two cups, or excuse me, two tablespoons of melted butter. That's our. Uh, one, one, two, two. One, one, two, two. Which is one cup of flour, flour. One cup of total liquid, which is half a cup of milk, half a cup of water. Yeah. Two tablespoons of butter, two eggs. Okay. All right. So our butter, we're going to whisk our butter right in. You should make a song about one, one, two, two. Because it's easier to remember. I mean, Go. 11, 22 is like one, one, two, two. Get it in the bowl. Mix it up. No, stop, stop. Okay, I'm sorry. That's so, right. That's so bad. That's all right. It's so bad. One teaspoon of salt, or like a quarter teaspoon of salt. So uh -huh. we've got like a light pinch of salt, and our batter is ready to go. Right, Jeremy, so. Jeremy said your head is shiny AF. What's hey, that? Remy. Oh, by the way, we always drink. We do always drink. And this is a local brewery. Oh, I say local. This is a Gainesville brewery. We've had them on before. This is their Florida. Big Nose IPA. This is a Swamp Head Brewery out of Gainesville. Yep. They had a couple beers uh, that they sell up, the, up at Publix and they distribute. This is actually a really good IPA, 7%. Got a nice, good hoppy flavor with a little bit of citrus note like you love for your IPAs. Yeah. Tori is drinking this uh, Pinot Noir called Winty. I already drank it all. Drank You're bottle, looking at right? the bottle. Hey. So it's going to be awesome toward the end, guys. It's fine. Daniel Dennis. Oh, what's up? I, I was going to invite them over tonight. They should walk over while we're doing the show. You should walk over, Daniel Dennis. <laughs> He said, uh, house layout looks familiar. Oh, yeah, right. Duh. Exactly he right. was the OG. Yeah, he was the OG. Um, sink, right. sink is closer. Yep, that is good. Sink is closer. It is good, but we don't have as much space on our sinks, uh, which is kind of a pain. 
Uh, but we'll get over it. I mean, once we get our island built, which is being done right now. So you're buying an island in the Caribbean? That was a joke somebody put on here. It, uh, that like, is it. I was letting horrible. it sting. I was letting it sting, Shadow. Well, up. it's done. Okay. I mean, bad. Um, so the ingredients tonight, we're going to do some, um, just going to do some simple steamed uh, baby carrots. Yeah. To go with this because we want a little bit of a crunch there in the steamer now. Okay. I don't need to tell you how to steam carrots, right? You trim them up, wash them real nice. Is like, where are crepes from? Uh, well, I think crepes are French. Are they? I think so. What do the French say? I just, I, I'm just wondering. Corey, can I tell you? You're so bad at that. Why don't you just ask me to look at the camera and go, ha, 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 while you superimpose a beret and some kind of gay. It's not a beret. What is it then? It's, it's a mustache. So they are like demanding I make you certain things. What are we doing here? So we're cutting these uh, little onions thin because we're going to make our sauce. Okay. And we want to get that going because we're going to cook some wine down. But I want to show you guys something real quick. Okay, so we're going to make this tarragon cream sauce real quick before everyone come over. I am. I mean, if you would take a minute out to make a complete fool of me to actually do the show. Uh, really are you going to cry real tears? Do it. Squeeze a real tear out. <laughs> mm. No, that's going to change my pants. <laughs> there you All right. go. All right, so actually let's do it this way. I'm not used to this thing yet. Hi, right, there we go. Okay, so we have our little saucepan. We have some white wine. We yep. like to use Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Grigio because it's got this nice dry, uh, a nice dry flavor. So we're gonna actually just start cooking down. Okay. Probably about a cup of that. Her. Now, I don't like my wine sauces super tart. I like them a little savory. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup of chicken stock to this as well. All right. And that'll give us a little bit more body. Okay. Now I'm also gonna add some of these just raw onions. I don't, I'm not going to cook them. I'm just going to put them in there. And believe it or not, that wine is going to pickle those a little bit. It's kind of crazy. Mm. Yeah. So we're also going to put in. Oh, we are going to do, we're going to pickle some veggies one yeah. of these days, yeah, right? Because yeah. we're going to start doing like yeah, all kinds of stuff. Asian food. Go. So yeah, we're going to start doing all kinds of cool stuff. Really, we are. Okay, so that's a big old spray of tarragon. All right. Yep. We're not going to put any salt in this yet. I don't. Believe, I don't believe in salting stuff early. Okay. I just learned from the pros that you kind of salt stuff after the fact almost always. But we are going to be a, put a pretty good grind of black pepper in the sauce. So as of right now, we have about a cup of white wine, half a cup of chicken stock a sprig of fresh tarragon, and some pepper. And okay. then some just regular Spanish yellow onion. And we're gonna bring that up to a boil and we're gonna just forget it's even there. And here's why. We want that to reduce by at least half. Mm -hmm. When it does, we're gonna hit it with about a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. Okay. Then we're gonna cook that down. All that's going on while we're making our crepes or filling, okay. then that can be fine because this sauce is simply gonna finish by pulling the, uh, the aromatic out, which is the aragon, right. the tarragon. Aragon, tarragon. <laughs> that's his brother. Left tackle. <laughs> um, and then we're going to add some butter to that sauce, and that mm -hmm. sauce is ready to go. All right. All right. So, so are we over here now? Yeah, we're going to make some fruits. Okay. Let's first, do it. First things first. Let me just cut this onion real quick so that we get First our... things first. You're the realist. First. Hmm? Wait, listen. Let's, ho, 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 ho. Stop, okay. stop. You stop. Stop for a second. Wow. You are pretty I want you to demanding stop. when I I'll... have this camera in my hand, I want buddy. You to stop. It's I'm in... in control. It's really important you listen. Okay, go. On primetime kitchen, we have a strict no Iggy Azalea. First things policy. first, I'm the realist. I just said we had a strict policy. Okay. Right. All right, so let's make our crepes. Okay. Our filling is going to come together very fast, guys. All right. Basically, it's sauteed onion, it's sauteed garlic yep. with some uh, tri a triad of these uh, gourmet blend mushrooms, which is uh, shiitake, portobello, white, and I believe we have some oysters in there as well. Okay. All right, saute that all together. We're gonna to hit it with a little chicken stock, tiny okay. bit of wine, and some cream, just to kind of bind it together a little bit. Fill our crepes, roll them up in the oven for a few minutes to heat them up, so when our sauce gets done, a little sauce, a couple of carrots, we're ready to go. And it's like a good looking dish, and I promise you, this is very, like, easy. Okay, All right. so uh, Daniel said, Paragon, tarragon. That could be part of your wrap, baby. Hey, I could be, instead of uh, tarragon, I could see hair is gone. That's what he just said. That's what I just said to you. You didn't. I did. I said hair you said gone. You said hair gone. Oh. I Not hair is gone. That's funny. Oh, no. I, so. I don't know. All right. So we have we have our uh, nonstick pan here. Hey, they're pretty impressed that you even know who Iggy E, I-G-G-Y, is. 
How did you do what? Yeah. Eric said the stream is perfect. Thank you, Eric. See, we have our a little wilted carrots. Okay. Let's see. These are ready to go. They're hot. I warm them right back up. Okay. I kind of par steam them so that when we go to, I can just hit them with that steam again. They'll come right back to life. They'll still be nice and crunchy. They'll look good on the plate because we have a lot of green and we have a lot of like, we don't have any yellow, no red thing or yellow to bump, uh, to bump that up. So Peggy just said your other apron is better. This one doesn't show very well. I know it doesn't. And I agree with you, Peggy, for the first time ever in my life. I fully 100% couldn't agree with you more. Okay. So what it, what's happening here? Which We're heating up some butter? As soon as he shows over, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> don't um, say that. Jimmy, stop. Oh, is that going to be Baker acting? Uh, yes. Now now I can Baker act you. Yeah. No. Finally, your master plan's come through. <laughs> it's done. All right, so a really good nonstick pan. Yep. It's kind of a must here, I believe. And we have our crepe batter. I, I like doing it with a label, a ladle. Ladle. And you'll notice what we're going to do is we're going to put it right in the pan pretty quick. And then we're just going to kind of roll our pan around. We want the to batter to kind of cover all of this. Okay. And this is a relatively small pan. You do not have to make them full size. You can get a ladle that's like half a cup and whatever that makes when you when you roll it out, yeah. that's what you get. All right. I believe you. Okay, so get our batter here. Yeah. All right, you'll notice. I want to get in there pretty quick because yeah. the pan's hot. This oven or stove gets oh, way gets, hotter yeah, than gets way hotter. the last one, right? Yep, 100% starting to bind up. And we don't even care if it goes all the way to the sides. None of that is important. And you don't move it. That thing's gonna cook by itself. Okay. All right. We're gonna do about medium heat. You don't want it too hot. And so in my opinion, you can already see this, Tori, if you don't mind, can I come over and check this out? Okay. Okay, see how the color is different from here to here already? Yeah. So pretty much when it's time to flip, you'll know these edges are gonna get a little brown if you have your heat right. Okay. Which I think medium, medium, uh, like just over medium. And it's starting, it's gonna start not looking as shiny. Okay. Okay. Now. Oh, I see, yeah. All right, watch, you can already see the color changing. I, I should be able to shake this and this is gonna break free, you ready? Yep. Look at that. See? Oh yeah. All right. Oh, did you see that puff yeah. of steam come out from underneath it? That's not a trick. Um, and I have a spatula here. Now, you should have a rubber spatula if you're dealing with these things, but we don't, so. Touch tips? Yeah, I can touch some tips, what's up? What's up, what's up Steve? DMs? Don't touch my, don't touch, okay. don't touch it! Boob, <laughs> which I'll resist. It's like dropping. <laughs> so we're gonna play to the very And we're gonna put a little, because we can stack these things on top of each other. Okay. Uh, Klein said the first one usually never turns out perfect. See how we have that little bit of browning up there? Yeah, that looks cool. So I Sorry, want, guys. Yeah, Steamy. I want a little bit more brown than that, yeah. but I think my heat is perfect. Yeah, it's a little puffed up. Yeah. Okay. Now, you can see our, our sauce is cooking, which is good. So basically what we have here, you can smell that already, Tori, right? Yeah. That's so that beautiful, earthy, like almost like out, like woods smell, really. It does. Um, so for the people that are just joining, what are we making? So tonight we're making savory crepes, which is wild mushroom, chicken, garlic, onion crepes in the filling. Yep. The crepe is just a regular crepe like you'd make if you're going to make regular crepes. I mean, yep. You can add a little bit of sugar to it if you wanted to to make it like a, a sweeter crepe, but you really don't need to. Just make the sugar in the, in the filling. That's fine. We're going to use these for a savory purpose tonight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take that sauce or that, that filling, going to put it in the crepes, roll it up. I'm going to cover it with this cream tarragon sauce, and it's going to be yummy. A little steamed carrots, and we're good to go. Cool. All right, our first crepe is done. All right. Look how well that slides right off there like that. Boom. Yeah, that's awesome. So I keep my butter here, because I just do it individually, each one. All right. You don't want your butter to burn. But we're probably going to make about... We're going to turn it. You're going to take your time, man. Honestly, we're not, we're not here to do anything serious. Um, they want to know when you're going to take over and host the Phillips file. That's weird. So I won't be hosting the Phillips file. I'll be right. doing the Jim Colbert show. But yeah, so what we're doing is 2019 or 18, we're doing the Jim Colbert show Fridays. Jim wanted a four day work week. Right. And uh, to go out kind of like that. And uh, so he's going to get that on Fridays. I do the uh, my show, which is the Jim Colbert show from three until seven. So um and it's been going well. We have two shows under our belt, We've gotten a really good response. Matter of fact, the Crime Line Chili Cook-Off had a bunch of people coming through saying thank you, that they love it, they love the team. Deb, Roberts, Ross Padgett, Jack Bradshaw, of course, you guys know. 
Uh, and if you could like that page and kind of support that, that'd be great. Oh, because we're coming out with product. I'm doing some product. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm only going to do a limited run though. I'm, I'm going to do like a um, hundred <laughs> mugs and like 150 mouse pads. Yeah. With, so, that, with that promo shot. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it is going to be awesome. I know. Uh, by the way, we're drinking uh, the uh, Big Nose IPA from, uh, from Swamp Head Brewery out of Gainesville tonight. We're yeah. drinking a little Pinot Noir. Mm. Uh, Eric said he loves the Jim Colbert show. Thank you very much. I do too. Uh, Peggy said it's amazing how great the picture is tonight when I didn't screw things up. No, oh, thanks, Peg. Yeah. Sweetheart. Now, see how we have a much better coverage with our browning? Yep. That, so they're right, like the first one doesn't well, actually cook the way that you want it to. Well, because you know, you're getting a heat of your pan right. We got lucky. The first one's actually really good. Last night's, by the way, uh, excuse me, don't know what I'm talking about there. That, that last night. We didn't do this last night. <laughs> uh, anyway, last night. Tony uh, said long overdue. Thanks, Tony. That's, that's sweet. For what? Um, On the show? Yeah. I agree. Uh, I agree Pat loves tonight. your Friday show. Um, so you. does Matt. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and start our filming while we're doing that. Okay, okay. so. I'll you'll notice here. this is the pan. I pre-cooked our check, chicken breast because there's no reason to show you chicken. how to. Chicken. Chicken, No chicken. reason to show you how to saute. So we have three pieces of bacon yep. chopped. All right. Okay. We're just going to let that rip her down. So it doesn't really matter. It can just kind of stay where it is right now. This pan will come up to heat. Okay. And you'll hear that start cooking off. We want that fat. Okay, because the fat's going to go very well with all the other stuff. We're going to get that great. Um, did you um, see me? Yeah, yeah, you did great. It, did you see me do it, that? It was great, honestly. I know. It may have been the best pan shaking ever in the history I, of serious. pan shaking, I'm right? Serious. And I'm so we're waiting for this to start cooking. Okay, one more. We're gonna do four of these tonight. Yep. And by the way, that recipe that I showed you guys earlier with the uh, the one one two two. Yeah. That recipe is good for about four good sized crepes, okay. you know. Yeah. Or you could do smaller ones if you wanted to. If you have a flat like griddle top. Yep. Right on top, just do your spoon until it gets to the thing. You can make them like that if you want. You can make them big like this if you want. Honestly, you do whatever. Matt wants you're... to know if you ever use cast iron pans. Well, I have a couple cast iron pans. We're not using them tonight because it really doesn't apply. No, I agree. I could use them here, but I kind of told Tori I'm not going to use cast iron on our new stove because I destroyed the other one. So we'll probably do the cast iron downstairs in the garage on the open heat, like on my turkey burner. Well, we're going to, we can actually do uh, like big green egg stuff now that um, we can kind of do it out in the light a little bit because the garage, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're, well, right out back, man. I mean, we can yeah. do whatever we want. That's awesome. Yep, absolutely. Uh, what kind of pans are you using? Well, actually, this is just a pan I got from Publix the other night. It's just a, one of those real hardcore non-stick pans because I knew it'd be great for crepes, to be honest with you. I will probably keep it just to do this, like right. grilled cheese sandwiches and crepes because it works great for that. Yeah. This is an old Cathlon pan that I've actually worn the... Um, literally completely worn the Teflon off of it. Yeah. I'm in the market to get new pans and I just don't know what I'm going to get yet. Oh, okay. So um, maybe we can go shopping together as we kind of figure this out. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do it on Facebook Live. Yeah. We can kind of go through it. That's cool. So, See, I like them cooked kind of like that. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, that's good. They're not as elastic when you get them that done. When right. you get them right before that, like this first one, like that little bit there. Yeah. You can see they're real elastic and they'll allow us to kind of do whatever we want sloppy. to them. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And again, we're not tying these things up real, like we're not you know, tight rolling them, right? We're um, just filling them up with some cool stuff and putting them in the oven. So what's your favorite late night snack? Are you serious? Wow, that's a great question. Um, yeah. Does beer count? Um... Everybody's going to think you're an alcoholic. No, seriously. I, you know what I just buy? I find myself buying for snacks a lot. I like Cheez-Its. Okay. I eat a lot. of. matter of fact, I bought, just bought two boxes of Cheez-Its. So I like that because it's really crunchy. We yeah. do love popcorn, uh, but we don't get a chance to make a lot of popcorn. But when we make it, we make it here on the stovetop. We don't We don't buy that microwave stuff. So Caroline wants to know um, how the big green egg make the move and do the dogs like the new place? I think the dogs love the new place because yeah, because I mean, I mean honestly, you I, we were kind of laughing about the whole situation because the dogs have spent their entire life in the backyard of my old house. Yeah, and they don't know that other fancy dogs uh, don't bark at people. They don't. These dogs are on the barking park just like this. It's like oh whoa, <laughs> whoa. I'm so tired, James. <laughs> Hey, so tell them what we saw the other day when we were walking. Man. <laughs> what did we see? Listen, guys, 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 listen. 
Look, I, I can appreciate, and I promise this is not a condemnation yeah. of any one lifestyle. Because, look, it, everybody is deserving of their place and how they roll things. In one day, we saw two couples that had an au pair walk, walking behind an au pair, or basically a, like a nanny or whatever, pushing their child. So their child was in a stroller being pushed by a worker while they walked hand, walked in, hand. hand in hand behind them. That happened twice within three hours. Oh my God, it's so true. Hey Mike, uh, what are you filling the crepes with? Sherry would like to know. Yeah, we're going to fill them up with some savory chicken. Don't talk to her. All right. Isn't that your first girlfriend's name? Yes, it is. Don't oh, um, <laughs> do it. Huh. Oh, Sherry. No. Um, yeah, yeah, we're going to fill them up with chicken, wild mushrooms, yep. onion, garlic, uh, and a little bit of cream, some fresh tarragon, and some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So right now what we're doing is we're rendering out the bacon. I'm coming over here. I'm back in so I can get my wine. Hey, what's sad, Kathy? We're not sad around here, sister. Nobody's sad around here. All right, so our sauce, look at her. Eric sauce. said we've heard about her. Look, see there? Now, that liquid, that's still, we've been cooking it solid now for a bit, and that liquid still only took down uh, a little bit there. We're done with our crates. We that's are. Done. Yes, ma'am, we have our four crates ready to go. Okay. The crepe game is gone. August right. loves crepes. All right, so we're going to do our onion mm -hmm. into our bacon. Okay. Let that start cooking. Got it. We're going to chop up our wild mushrooms. So how long do you want to cook the um, onions? Well, you want to cook them with your friend loose it for it. Okay. Uh, basically, you want to cook them so pretty you can kind of see through them. Do you see how much um, like talent this takes? Like I'm holding the camera. Yeah, yeah you're good. No, like, I'm not. No one's denying your, your talent. I'm going to chop these mushrooms while you uh, perfectly and professionally stir those. It is pretty perfect, right? All right, and so this other sauce that we're making in the back for people that are just joining is what? Tarragon cream sauce. It is a tarragon cream sauce. Sorry, guys, fogged you up. All right, so since our onions have already kind of started kind of coming down a little bit, not quite, we probably could wait a little bit. We're going to go and put our mushrooms in. Okay. Now you got to remember mushrooms are, uh, well, they're mushrooms. They're going to soak up a lot of that liquid in the pan. Yeah. A lot of people will be like, oh, my God, that's so much you know, uh, liquid. What are we going to do? You're right, Kathy. Hashtag talent. Um, they said you're killing them with the metal in the pan. Like, that's why you ruin, that's why you can't have nice things. See, I buy you good stuff like this. Can I tell you guys something? I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm tired of the attitude. I'm trying to cook for you. I'm trying to make your life better. Don't so what clap do you do? at them. You clapped at them. You're, you're, I'm like trying a, to like make a, your life better. And all you're trying to do is make my life better. Along with my wife, whose entire goal is to make my life miserable. A little bit of salt, guys. Not much. Just a little bit. Okay. How much do you think that was? Just a healthy pinch. A healthy pinch. Yeah. And we want to do like 10 turns. Um, Mike wants to know if you wash those mushrooms before you dump them in the pan. Guys, I'm sorry about the boxes in the back. Like, those, those aren't even coming. I'm bringing in the teal to the new house. The red's not coming. Oh, they said thank you for going to the um, the silicone the what? utensils. The silicone utensils. Is this garlic? Yeah, this is garlic. My fave. So we have about three cloves mm -hmm. of garlic. We're going to mince it up. Okay. Don't need to have garlic in here too much because it will take over. Okay. That should be enough. Right. And actually, you may see your pan getting a little dry. At this point, you can add a little bit of olive oil. Oh, okay. Which I'm going to. See the it's sheen? It's the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, they they suck, suck it all up. Mm -hmm. well, a little so, when are we going to do a Cajun recipe, honey? Uh, honey, we can do that. Dude, I can show you how to do a, a really good black and steak. I'll totally make you talk Cajun the entire time. I'm sure there's an app for that or emoji for that or whatever. A Cajun emoji? I don't know. That what? sounds ridiculous. Well, uh, you know. All right, here's about a tablespoon of chopped tarragon. Okay. All right. Alright, so let's get it. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Now, you're gonna have some bits on the bottom. See that? Can you see those bits? Yeah. The reason we don't care about that? I'm gonna boil that off with some chicken stock and some wine. It's gonna come over. They call it deglazing. Okay. Right. This is deglazing. Deglazing. Right. Yep, let's do it. Let's, let's deglaze. Right we don't want much. Tablespoon of that. Because we're always gonna have wine in our sauce. About a tablespoon of that. Okay. Now what's gonna happen is that water is gonna steam, it's gonna boil all that stuff in the bottom off. I can literally feel it coming off with my with my tongs. It smells so good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook that liquid out. We're gonna add this chicken that we cooked earlier. This is just cubed chicken breast with salt and pepper. Okay. Nothing, nothing more. All right. Um, Kenny wants to know what tarragon tastes like. I'm so sick of answering that question. I'm not ever doing it again. Do it. He wants to know, babe. It tastes like tarragon. What salt tastes like? Mm. What does it taste like? What are you doing over here? It tastes like salt. These grape tomatoes. Okay. Always put these in last. Because they'll mush up, apart. right? They'll fall right apart. So do you, are you just waiting for the chicken to kind of warm up before you put the mushrooms in? Yeah, so what we want to do is we're going to cook all this liquid out. And we're going to hit it with a little bit of heavy cream, all right? And again, that cream is going to act like a binder. Okay. Because we're going to have this beautiful cream sauce, which we can go ahead and add. Look, see our, we've reduced it down. Yep. Oh, yeah. See that, Tora? Look at that. Yep. See, now that's going to cook more, and that's going to thicken right up. <clears throat> that's right. That's right, Caroline. It tastes like deer tongue. <laughs> that's about a tablespoon of cream. Of cream. Mm. And again, this is just our filling that's going to go into our crepe. This is wild mushrooms, onion, mm -hmm. garlic. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to do our great tomatoes. Okay. Just for a little cinnamon. We have a fresh tarragon in there. I mean, it looks pretty too. I'm not a fan of tomatoes, but they do add a really cool flavor to them. What's tomatoes Sweet. taste like? Tomatoes. Mm. 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 A little bit more wine. Why? Why'd you put more wine in there? Didn't what have was it missing? Wine flavor. I mean, that's what we like have. acid or whatever? Well, yeah, wine flavor. The acid. When you have cream, heavy creams like that, and yeah. this, there's not much. Again, we just wanted to kind of get it, like, kind of stick together. Okay. Like it binds. Gonna, when we put this sauce okay. on top of it, it's going to be good, 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 good. I agree, Tony. Tomatoes are gross. Is Jimmy going to have an addendum in his cookbook detailing what everything tastes like? Are you? Are you going to do a cookbook? No. Yes. We are going to do a cookbook. We're not. We are. Everybody has cookbooks. We're above that. We're really not. Carol um, Carol said that she likes tomatoes when you cook them. Oh, really? She said they taste better. Um, actually, I'm the opposite. Really? Yeah, I like tomatoes. I like, honestly, I like my tomatoes kind of just with salt. Honestly, I just... Like, like raw? Them. Yeah. Put. Like when we... Put... When we get caprese salads out, I, if you'll notice, I'll pull the tomatoes off of them. Yeah. And I'll just sprinkle salt on them. I mean, if they're good tomatoes, and if you go to a good restaurants, you're going to get good produce. Yeah. Man, if they're good tomatoes, shoot, that's awesome, man. Let's put them on this. Um, What's up, Hot Scott? Hot Scott York's on. What's going on, man? What's happening? Mm. Um, Todd said, nice, a new uh, uh, stovetop you can scratch up. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, though. <laughs> I've sworn to my beautiful wife that I will not do that. Tony, I do need more wine. Look at that. That's so sad. Uh, by the way, at this point, yep. let's say you're cooking this, you're like, man, I really like spinach. Mm -hmm. Yep. Throw some spinach in there. You know, You know, what, I think spinach would probably kind of do well in that. Spinach would do well in there. Matter of fact, I was going to serve this on or serve some wilted spinach on top of it. Yeah. I opted out of that because we already had too much green. Do you like mayo and tomato sandwiches? I've had mayonnaise and tomato sandwiches. I mean, I'm not... What person eats that? Who looks at the at the thing and goes, hmm, I need, you know to, what I want. I need to put this stuff together <laughs> and eat it in some bread. <laughs> you know what I'm not going to be able to do another meal without? Uh, what beer are you drinking tonight, baby? I'm drinking, uh, it's called Big Nose IPA from Swamp Head Brewery. In Gainesville, right? Uh, Gainesville, yeah. And yep. this is in Publix. I got this in Publix, so you can cool. get those... Uh, 
you can get those at just like normal places. It doesn't have to be like a, you know, fancy, fancy place. Yep. This is from a cube of Romano pecorino. Pecor oh, do it. Do it. Pick a peck of onions. What is it? That is a wedge of Romano pecorino cheese. So imagine like a salty, like a salty, little bit more stank Parmesan. Okay. Not as creamy. Brittle. You can see like what I'll do is... Like, I don't grate it. I actually just push my knife, this beautiful shoon knife that I got at Betty's, or excuse me, at uh, Wassie's. Wassie's. Yeah, and I uh, push it right across and create these little flakes, and mm. they're freaking delicious. Caroline says she gets heart palpitations every time you shake that pan over that new stove top. Uh, I agree, Caroline. He's trying to ruin it already. She's a freak. Is that why? What are you talking about? She's a freak. Is that why? Yes, Chris, uh, is it Christine? Yeah, Christine. I am going to go with teal. I think teal up against those cabinets are going to look amazing. Not with these actual ones, but that's is the color I'm going to go in here. I'm just this? letting what them know. I'm letting them know. Okay, right, let's so go. We'll, let's roll a couple of these up. Yep. All right, so. Mm, man, cheese goes. All right. Robert is um, wondering why you can describe cheese, but you can't describe tarragon. Because I don't want to. And I have the right to not want to. This way, so now that you want to. All right. So we have our filling. Mm. So if you guys are just tuning in, this is basically cubed sauteed chicken. Yep. These are great tomatoes. Yep. That's chopped tarragon, wild mushroom, onion, garlic, and a little bit of heavy cream. All right. So we're going to put our filling in there. We do a little, little bit, bit more. A little bit more at that end. Mm -hmm. John said that's, ta uh, that's jaguar teal. Oh, it's football guys, I love it. So here it is. And basically you roll it up. What we do is we like to put it in these baking dishes like this. Yep. So we're gonna put a little bit of that sauce on top. We're gonna throw it in the oven. Did you show off your new cutting board that I got you? Oh yeah, look at this thing. Primetime kitchen. Look. Look. Really cool, right? Again. Um, Mike, I think arugula would be in there as well. You can put arugula in there. I actually bought arugula, it's in the fridge right now, to go on this dish, um, but I opted not to do so because I wanted to top it with the sauce and not arugula. Hey, Marilyn. Hey, you guys, like and share, like and share, please. Please, 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 please. Because Facebook is a bunch of turds and they want me to pay for everything now. Hey, girl, hey. Damn business. I know. <laughs> All right. So, hey, like three Look how good that here, looks right? right there, Tori. Look at that. It looks so good. So we're gonna do three. Yeah. We could get, I could get four in there. In, in hey, the Dan wants to know, what about raisins or apples? In what? In this. You, well, you could. I apples, mean, totally, right? Guys, pork. Or craisins. Like pork with apples, raisins, mm -hmm. onions. I mean, that all goes well together. I mean, pork is very, that's why I love cooking with pork tenderloin. It is genuinely one of my favorite proteins because it is really versatile. It isn't crazy fatty. Yeah. Uh, and it's got that great flavor. And it's easy and fast to cook. Pat, it does open into the dining room. I just ordered my new dining room table. And I just ordered my new entertainment center. And I just ordered um, our new island for our kitchen. So I'm pretty excited. This is my old table. So we'll have a whole different table in here. And then the entertainment center will go on that wall. <laughs> this is important stuff. Right. Kenny's trying to be nasty. Oh, wow. I'm not even going to say it. Everybody wants a cutting board. Do they really? Yeah. I guess I can do that. Do cutting boards? Yeah. I can do cutting boards. If I have enough pre-orders, I'll do cutting boards. Do you guys want me to put it on face? I mean, on uh, PTK radio? I can do a pre-order on them. And if I get enough orders, I can go ahead and do it. Is that Boo's cutting board? No, that's Primetime Kitchen cutting board. So we're gonna put these in the oven to keep them nice and warm? Yep. And this sauce is coming down. This sauce comes down, we're ready to go. This, I mean, I'm serious. This is a, it's 7.38. We went from dead nothing yep. to having this dish almost ready to go in 40 minutes and these and we made everything from scratch just to give you an idea we did we did how versatile these little crepes are i love my I, don't you guys love these plates i'm not a giant fan of that plate I'm why gonna be with you. i don't know i'm just not a fan of it <laughs> steve said that's the baldwin kitchen it is jazzy wants to know what we're selling here what do you mean jazzy we're not selling anything. <laughs> 
Jazzy, I think, just stumbled upon us. Oh, that's cool, Jazzy. This is a cooking show. Uh, this is not going to be easy to explain. I'm a radio personality who loves to cook. <laughs> had a segment on our radio show that we turned into a cooking show and a brand called Primetime Kitchen. Yep. And what we try to do is use what I've learned over the last 20 years of cooking to possibly teach you guys how to do something cool and show you just how easy this is. Because the whole idea is if I can do it, anybody in the world can do it. So welcome to the show. Spread Even the me? word. By the way, like and share this, except for you. <gasps> this is why, this is why you're so hateful to me. I'm not hateful for you. You make me this person. <laughs> Dan said this looks like a QVC showroom. It does. It's like, and right, and if you act now, so that sauce is almost done. Okay. And then we're going to plate this thing up real quick and be on the way. By the way, uh, this week on Primetime Kitchen, that's Friday night at 8 o'clock yep. on Real Radio 104.1, we have in Ryan and Michelle from K Restaurant. Now, they're part of the group that bought K from Kevin Fonzo. He's been on the show a couple of times. We did a PTK live there. Yep. And they bring in all kinds of cool stuff. So listen to the show. It's really good. It shows you like when you change management in a restaurant, especially one as legendary as K, they kind of go through what you have to do to make sure you keep those customers happy. And it's really yep. a really neat look at how they do that. Plus, it gave us a bunch of really good oh stuff. Oh, my bakery. gosh. The new the dessert. Cake, the desserts. That pistachio chocolate cake with the Grand Marnier orange buttercream. Yep. For real guys it's great and i'll tell you if you have a special occasion and you want to kind of enjoy a real orlando culinary treat k restaurant is one of those legendary spots and by the way there are also great community partners didn't it used to be at like a bordeaux it was a bordello or bordello yeah, you would go in there and find like old trucker chicks and uh, lace like uh 90s bringing you chili and hot dogs and like the walls were like this velvet. yeah it was yeah. awful but now it's like one of the most quaint it has a garden out back. And by the way, Tor, they bought that house next door. Oh, really? It's That's cool. Down. It's going to be like their garden room or whatever. It's, it's, it's yeah, a it's crazy awesome. cool spot. Um, so would you put the temperature on to heat those up? I just have it on 350 because I'm just gonna, they're only going to be in there for a few minutes. Okay. You could put it on 250. Right? It doesn't matter. You know, if it crisps up the top a little bit, I'm yeah. fine with that. You can't overcook the insides. So John said that we should get lapel mics because it's a super bad echo in here. Well, John, we don't have anything on the walls. We don't have anything on the floors. I don't have any rugs. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. But he's right, though. We do need lapel, yeah. lapel mics, and that's part of the new product. Actually, the kitchen's going to be hardwired. Yeah. Tori will be doing this shot, but she'll also be able to swing between other shots once we get it wired up, and we are going to have a lapel mic so we can get good quality sound. What kind of beer? And, um, yeah, K Restaurant is on Edgewater Drive. Edgewater Drive. Can't miss it. What kind of beer? Uh, it's called Big Nose IPA from Swamphead Brewery up in Gainesville. Uh, and like I was saying earlier... What's it uh, taste like? It's an IPA. It's a 7% IPA. It's Are a, you like... Tastes like IPA. Talking, I don't drink beer, so I it's don't know. It's a flowery, hoppy flavor. Oh, look. Look at you describing things. It's a flowery... <laughs> it's such a flowery, hoppy flavor. <laughs> This is killing me that I have two different color curtains in the shot. Really? Yeah, I have to you're take so, it down. Man, you're such a freak. I am. It's so crazy how anal you are about some stuff. Uh, Tyler said it's very tart. Jody said IPA tastes like stinky armpit smell. All right. To each his own. <laughs> or her. It's almost ready to go here, Tor. Hey, oh, Brian. Real quick, I'll show you how I, just, I can just kind of show you a little something. Okay. So when you're cooking cream sauces, yep. see how we have those bubbles? Don't get too close at all. I know. I'm, I'm trying to get the bubbles, though. See how oh, we have those yeah. bubbles? Okay, so when you really start knowing that your sauce is kind of thick enough, is those bubbles are going to get progressively bigger. Okay. And they're going to hold their body longer. Now, longer may be a half a second, but they will. Instead of going blah, 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 like that, they'll go blah, blah. That's when I pull it off the heat and hit it with the butter. Butter. When you cream sauces and you want that beautiful, shiny, gorgeous, rich flavor, take it off the heat because you don't want to boil the butter. It'll break in half. Uh, it'll ruin your sauce, like snap. So take it off, add a couple tablespoons of butter, whisk it in, and then off we go. Okay, the Pat's way. ready to eat. Okay, we're ready to go. We're almost ready. All right, we're in good shape. Um, so... So here's our sauce. I, yeah, um, Tyler said that he loves that beer. It is, it's good beer. Yep. So we're gonna come in here with some really good quality butter. Holy cow butter. How much is that? That's uh, two tablespoons. Eee. So we're gonna just 
Is it only two tablespoons? Yeah, it's only about two tablespoons. Okay. And what you're going to see is, even though that looks like it's a lot, like a little liquid, it, that butter will actually, as it melts, it'll cool the sauce down a little bit. And it'll thicken it right up. Now, if you'll notice, these onions have just been basically steeped or steamed in this wine. Oh, dog's barking. Um, yeah, Tyler, it does look like a whole stick. Um, Mike said that, to be honest, that one of the things that he likes about the show is that it's raw and it's rough edges and it's filmed on an iPhone. Dude, wait till you try that sauce for you. I know. Did you not listen to I me? I mean, seriously, wait till you try that. I'm about to. I have this little thing following me around. Oh, she's the worst. Say hi, Maisie. She's the worst. And then my little Dexy over here. Can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> um, John said you seriously need new cookware. What cookware are you using there? It's just Teflon. I mean, I don't even fancy. Damn. <laughs> are you bougie, baby? Ain't nobody bougie. Rick Ross with the sauce. Ain't nobody bougie. <laughs> the big boss? Yeah, the big boss, right, Rick so Sauce. We're going to do one of our crepes. Okay. Right here on the plate. Okay. Jessica Dexter is adorable. She's awesome. Right? How old are you? Say hi. Say hi. He's like, I can't see you. <laughs> All right, so we have our crepe. Okay. We have our onions. And sauce. Okay. This is cream tarragon sauce. Mmm. And tarragon tastes like tarragon. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of that. And we want some of our onions for sure on there because that's really going to help us out a lot. Okay. Clint, yes, we finally moved. We're, we're do our, still not really in. We're going to do our little baby carrots. steamed carrots. Mm -hmm. A little cross there to make it look mm. nice. All right. We're going to get a sprig of tarragon. Going to run it right up the middle like that so it's up. And there we go. There wow, is your, look at that fanciness. There is your, uh, that's your wild mushroom yep. and chicken stuffed crepes with a cream tarragon sauce and some steamed baby carrots. Here's all, with the carrots, I've trimmed them, washed them, steamed them. Yep. The doneness. If you like them mushy, steam them mushy. If you like them a little hard like I do, just kind of almost warm through, yeah. do that. Okay. These crepes are filled with the most beautiful, easy ingredients. It's these great whole fall mushrooms onions garlic we have uh we have a little bit of cream in there some chicken stock salt and pepper and tarragon that's all that's in that dish it's going to get this great and this wine sauce is going to give you this really good kind of tart uh uh balance to the rest of the big time savory flavors yeah and that's it it's a super easy dish and we hope you guys do it make a big pan of them and freeze them they hold up quite well that's and cool. make a bunch of crepes while you're doing it as well. Uh, you're going to be able to see this at ptkradio.com. Of course, we always want to thank the Wassies over in uh, Melbourne, Wassies Meats. Like and share this video pretty, pretty, pretty please. That would help us out a lot. Check out the Jim Colbert Show, 3 to 7 Fridays, Real Radio 104.1. And then Primetime Kitchen airs Friday nights, uh, just an hour after I get off the air. But that other show, we do another show. Heather McPherson, our guest this week, Ryan and Michelle from K Restaurant yeah. on Edgewater Drive. And uh, it's an awesome spot. Thanks, all, uh, Mike Oliver Holmes and uh, Porky's Barbecue coming on in February and hopefully some other people as well. If you want to advertise on the show and get your word out, you can certainly do so on this show, by the way, and on Primetime Kitchen's radio places. We have about three spots left. If you'd like to get involved, we'd love to have you on. It's very affordable and extremely effective. Uh, you can just email us, primetimekitchen at gmail.com to take care of that. Tori, anything else? That's it, baby. Visit Visit ptkradio.com, and we'll have this recipe up in the next day. Got a busy weekend, so you guys stay safe. Have a great weekend. Stay warm tonight. It's going to be cold as hell out there. It is going to be cold. And, of course, always, thanks for tuning in to Primetime Kitchen. Guys, we'll see you next week for episode 29. Just go online. You'll find out what that's going to be. Bye, guys. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.